Saga comic series began. Yeah, huge. Uh, that is an incredible comic and, book. Yeah, that's one of the, uh, like, what Brian K. Vaughan was able yeah. to do. I mean, he's yeah. able, he, he uh, with Why the Last Man, like, this mm -hmm. guy, no one should be surprised that he made mm -hmm. something awesome. But Saga is just so weird and smart with its world building. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just like, hey, you, uh, this is a completely foreign place. Uh, I'm going to thrust you in. There's a dude with a TV on his head. There's a cool cool cat man. Just, like, have at it. And, like, in five issues, you're like, oh, yeah, totally. Like, I am 100% on board with this world. Yeah, I, I love Vaughn, too. When I'm at Last Man is one of my favorite comics. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because, yeah, you, Saga, you know, there's a lot of things people evoke that, yeah, it's like it's a little bit Star Wars, a little bit Game of Thrones, a little bit Lord of the Rings, while not feeling like it's just copying those things. Yeah. You know, it's, it's he's completely created this universe onto itself. And it's really interesting and kind of a skewed perspective from the, that type of story. Yeah. Yeah. He was inspired by, uh, he wanted to do, he wanted to write about being a parent. Interesting. Uh, <laughs> Because he was becoming a parent. Yeah. But then he thought if he wrapped it up in like the a, a sci-fi Star Wars this universe, it would be easier. Yeah. Like that would be more exciting. Sure. Than just writing about parenting. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, then the original pitch that the uh, that Image Comics used uh, is that it's Star Wars meets Game of Thrones. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but, yeah totally he was works. apparently like building this universe in his head since he was a teenager, just like spending all this time creating so these characters. Yeah. The, the funny thing too. is, <laughs> 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 it's very and also it's interesting because he has vowed to never let them adapt this mm. as, yeah, as a movie a thing, or TV yeah. show because he really wants it to be. A comic book. It's and you know he's had successful and unsuccessful adaptations of stuff and been involved in things. But it's I think that's actually interesting in this day and age. And he's like, no, this is just a comic. Yeah. And hopefully, you know, we get so many great adaptations now, but no one really knows if it's helping people actually read comics. Uh, but something like Brian K. Vaughan's Saga, I think, does. It's one of those things like Sandman, even going back mm -hmm. to get some people who don't read comics to check them out because yeah. it's like everyone's talking about it. Yeah. yeah. As I read it, I wonder in my head, like, man, this. I don't see how this would be possible as a TV show because it, the budget would be too big, and I don't see how they could spend this much on like a hard R, yeah, big yeah. movie. And then I read that like he never, he like he implicitly doesn't want yeah. anyone to make a movie or a TV yeah. show of it. Like that's which why I, he wrote it that which way. Which I like. Like I yeah. think that's cool. Like as much as like we were talking about stuff like uh, you know Walking Dead and Game of Thrones yeah. that have sort of expanded to yeah. all mediums. Like I'm totally fine with a thing being a thing. Yeah. Like well, you can you can exist in in one column. And you don't have to be in everything. Yeah. Uh, I'll, leave, I'll leave you with this quote from Brian K. Vaughan. Uh, talking about Star Wars and Soggy, he says, I'm part of the generation that all we do is complain about the prequels and how they let us down. And if every one of us who complain about how the prequels didn't live up to our expectations just would make our own sci-fi fantasy, then it would be a much better use of our time. Oh. See, he's kind of thrown down the gauntlet right on when we're asking what are we doing with our lives, yeah. you know? <laughs> I'm still building the world, okay? <laughs> world building. <laughs> I like the idea that you're just at a bar by yourself. You're like, world building. <laughs> I'm building, a, building an awesome world right now. <laughs>